So I won't lie, I have never played a Double Fine Productions game. I missed out on Psychonauts, I had no interest in Brutal Legend, and I don't own a Kinect. I'm sure that they are mighty fine, but I simply don't know their games. Something else I would like to say is that I've never properly played a point and click adventure game. It's not that I think they look bad, I'm just not a PC gamer, and when I used to be a PC gamer, I pretty much only played Civilization 2 and Red Alert 2, so never got around to checking out games such as Monkey Island. The reason why I'm explaining this is because I did not go into the game I'm reviewing today, The Cave, as a fan. It was a complete risk for me, as even though The Cave is a combined effort from Ron Gilbert and Tim Schafer, I had no excitement for it. To be perfectly honest, the only reason I brought it is because I wanted a new Wii U game, and there's no new ones being released for a while. So after playing through it, what did I think of The Cave? Has it convinced me that I was a fool to miss out on such classics as Monkey Island? Or did it make me happy that I didn't waste my time? Let's have a look. The game story is that a group of seven adventurers want to explore the cave, called the cave, and that's exactly what they do. There is little real story here, although each character does have their own self-contained story. For the example, the knight says that he isn't actually a knight, but instead stole a knight's armour. This leads to his kingdom being destroyed as a dragon attacks, and he can't do anything because he's not actually a knight. Each story is told by pictures found throughout the game, and most of them are pretty entertaining to look at. It would be nice to actually have an overall story in this game, but it's not the focus of the game, so I won't complain too much. The dialogue that is in this game, though, is funny, with both subtle and non-subtle jokes being present throughout. I couldn't say that there's any game out there that I would say is hilarious, but I did laugh out loud a few times in this game. The gameplay is a mix between traditional 2D platforming and point and click games. The platforming is very basic, as you don't really have to avoid obstacles like in Mario. In fact, you don't have any way of attacking enemies, which is why there is so little platforming. Whenever you find something you can't get past, then the point and click style kicks in. To progress, you have to explore the area to find items and figure out the correct way to use them. Another gameplay mechanic is that you control one of three characters that you can switch between at any time. You need three characters to solve puzzles and you can have them spread throughout an area when looking for items. On paper, this all sounds well and good, but there are problems with the gameplay. The first is that the controls are off. You don't have to do any platforming that relies on pinpoint controls, but when running around trying to solve puzzles you will do things such as grab onto ladders when you didn't mean to, or grab onto ledges when you're trying to do something else. It isn't a major problem, but when you're stuck on a puzzle, the controls can make things more irritating than they need to be. The next problem with the gameplay is the task of exploring an area itself. You can only control one of the three characters, so when looking around, the other characters don't move. If you find something you need though, then you'll either have to control the other characters and move them yourself, or have the other character go all the way back to them. It doesn't sound too bad, but when you're stuck on a puzzle and you have your three characters spread throughout an area, it becomes a chore trying to find out exactly what you're trying to do. This game needed a shared infantry space, or a way of teleporting characters to each other, as it would have made the puzzle solving a lot more streamlined and enjoyable. The puzzle difficulty is also pretty inconsistent. They're either, oh that's easy, I get what I have to do, it's just going to take a bit of time, or they're, what am I supposed to do, I have no idea. It means a lot of the time there's not the same satisfaction that you get from normal puzzle games by beating them, as the puzzles here are either way too easy or way too frustrating. What does make puzzle solving fun in this game though is seeing how everything plays out. Each area has a small subplot, and due to the game's good writing, it's always amusing to see what happens to all the minor characters you encounter. The game is split into different areas, and what areas you visit depend on which characters you choose at the beginning. There are set areas like the mine, which you always visit no matter what, but if you say, pick the hillbilly, you get to play his level at the carnival, where otherwise you would have skipped it. Each character has a unique ability that only they can use, which they need when going through their own areas. On the face of it, this sounds like a good idea as well, as it means although it's a short game, you can make the game different and unique with each playthrough. This would be good, apart from the fact that this is a puzzle game, and going through puzzles that you already know the solution to is dull. You see, with puzzle games, the skill is all about trying to use the tools you're given to understand the game's logic and find solutions, so replaying them doesn't make sense as all the skill has been sucked out. 
Like I mentioned, there are certain levels that you have to play through to beat the game, and as there are seven characters, each with their own levels, it means that you have to play through the required levels three times to see everything in the game. It makes the running around picking up items even more tedious, as you've already done it before. This might have worked if there was a greater emphasis on the platforming, but there isn't, and calling it a platformer would actually be very generous. It would have been a better experience if you could play all the adventurers separate levels in one playthrough, and it would have felt more like a complete gaming package. Another problem with having to replay the game is that it sucks out the humour the game has, and seeming how the game's personality is one of its biggest strengths, it's hard to enjoy the jokes each time if you've heard them already. Seeming how I played the Wii U version, let's talk about the extra features. I'm going to be blunt, there aren't any. This game is the exact same as it is on the PS3 and 360. During the game, all that is displayed on the gamepad are pictures of your three characters that you can touch to select them. It's nice, but completely useless, as you can use the D-pad to change character, and it's actually a lot less effort to do this. I didn't expect them to integrate the gamepad into the gameplay in the same way that Zombie U did, but they could have had something better on the screen. There are so many times that I wished I had a map displayed on the gamepad showing character and item locations. The worst thing about the gamepad not having anything useful on it is that you can't play the game on just the gamepad. It's one of the gamepad's biggest features that you can play games on it without the TV, so it's really disappointing to see that feature not being used. If you're not sure about which version of the game to get, there's nothing technically wrong with the Wii U version, it just doesn't have the extras like you would expect. The Cave is a game with a lot of charm and built on some great ideas. However, the execution of the gameplay makes this game feel more tedious than fun to play. Some puzzles are fun and there are some good moments, but this game falls down on a lot of basic levels. If you're someone who loves point and click games and want to see a new spin on it, then I still say play it, but don't be surprised if you walk away disappointed. My score is 4.5 out of 10. There's nothing I truly hate about this game, but there are too many mistakes for me to say overall that it's anything great.